Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Johnson. I don't know if you know this about me, but mm, the beach is my favorite. It is my favorite place to be. It brings me peace in my heart. It brings me some like moments to just deep breathe and take in the salty air. It is my favorite. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Um, so with that, I thought I wanted to share with you what I do when I'm at the beach with my family. So. Um, I'm gonna put this just over here for a moment because that's something that we sent you that has to do with something I do at the beach. So one of the things that's become a tradition for my family is to always bring Sharpies to the beach with us. Now, boys and girls, Sharpies are a permanent marker. That means if you get it on your skin, if you get it on your clothes, it's not going to come out. Now, Sharpie does come out of your skin eventually, but it takes a really long time and it's also not safe for you. So only use these with mom and dad around. Got it? Or whatever adult you're at the beach with. Okay. <laughs> there's my, there's Mrs. Johnson's warning for the week. So one of the things we love to do is to find rocks at the beach. Now this is a collection that I purchased at a store for use at school. And I'm going to show you what we did with those, but we always find little rocks at the beach and we take our Sharpie and we'll do things like draw a smiley face on it. Can you see that? Do, 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 do. Well, you know what a smiley Almost. face looks like. Or we'll draw a heart. And we can even color it in. Do, 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 do. Maybe you'll see the heart better. See the heart? And if we have a really big rock, if we can find a bigger rock, we might write a message on this one. Like we might write, you are awesome. And we'll write a message on it. And then we won't take these rocks home with us. We leave them for someone else to find. We leave a little bit of joy for someone else to find on the beach. And that's become something that my family really enjoys doing when we're at the beach because it takes us that peace that we have within us when we're sitting there listening to the ocean and it gives us a chance to give it to somebody else. So there is what we do now. But Mrs. Johnson, the beaches aren't open yet. You're right, they're not open yet. There are other places where you could spread love like this, okay? Some disclaimers, that means some warnings. Don't go into your neighbor's yard and take the rocks out of their garden. That's trespassing. Don't do that, okay? Do find rocks when you're walking around. Maybe they're on the sidewalk. Maybe they're in your yard. Maybe they're, I don't know, if you're on the bike path, if you see rocks on the side of the bike path, ask your parents before you touch anything and pick it up. And before you use them to write on, especially if you're, they're not from the beach where there's salt water that kind of keeps things clean, have, ask your parents to help you clean them. Bring them outside, a little bit of soapy water, spray them with the hose. Great activity for days when it is way hot outside, okay? So that is number one thing. Number two thing is you can get a little bit more creative with your rocks. Now, these are rocks that a special student dropped off here for us for our playground, and we're very grateful for that. Mrs. Barber was so excited to get these. And look, they did a heart. They did a beautiful pattern on this one, but they took rocks that they found and they painted them. If you have paints at home, you can take rocks that you find and paint them. These will make them brighter for people to see. If you want to take them with you to the bike path and leave them on the bike path, or take them to your friend's house and leave them as little surprises on their front lawn while we're in a state where we're not able to necessarily go sit and chat and hug our friends, this is a way that you could tell somebody that you love them and it's something that they'll keep. Now, these are ones that we did here at school. These are rocks we intended to put out in our playground, but that plan kind of fell through when they never dried and when we decided that we were gonna do some things to change our playground here. So we have these rocks that were painted with water safe paint and then we used Mod Podge to seal the paint on. If you don't do that, the paint will eventually wear off if you leave it outside. And that's why you always wanna make sure that you use water-based paint so that it's safe for the environment, okay? But when you Mod Podge them, it kind of seals it in 
And then these rocks can be outside. A nice thing to do with those is kind of put them in a dish and fill it with a little bit of water and it just creates a beautiful little feature in your garden or outside of your house, but also you could gift those. So that's my rock story, okay? Now, the next thing is I like to listen to the waves crashing on the shore, okay? And you can create that for yourself. So this is a fun little science experiment too. I tricked you, didn't I? So we've got, this is water that I've added blue food coloring to. And this time I did not get it all over myself. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> With your parents' help, you're gonna take your blue water and you're gonna pour it in to a big jar. Now I could have used the little jar, but I like the fun of pouring the water. So it was fun. If you have a funnel, that will make it a little bit less messy. And moms and dads, aunts and uncles, grandmas, grandpas, let them pour it. It's okay, go outside, make a mess. It's okay. Then this is cooking oil. Now, oil and water, like Mrs. Barber taught you, they don't mix, right? So when you put these together, they're not gonna mix together, I hope, as long as my experiment works properly. So we're gonna pour this oil into the water and I want you to watch and see what's happening. The oil, and I did it on purpose this way. I poured the oil second because I want it to stay at the top. If you want to watch like a lava lamp type experience, pour the oil first and then pour the water in. So now I'm going to seal this up. It's very important that you use a container. See, I'm not even trusting myself. That you use a container that seals properly and seals all the way. A soda bottle, a milk jug. If you have like a clearish milk jug, it's not going to be as easy to see a water bottle that you clean out and then really make sure that top is on because you wanna be able to not spill it. But if I take this container and I put it on its side, you can see that the water's at the bottom and the oil's at the top and it's making bubbles, but it also, let's see if I can make it happen. See if you move it back and forth like that, it crashes like the waves. And you're gonna get those bubbles in there from the oil and the water not mixing, but the oil's gonna start to separate. And it kind of looks like the waves crashing against the shore. Do you see that? So it's a fun little experiment. Plastic is probably better than glass for boys and girls because if you drop it, it could be dangerous. But you can see how this is kind of like when you get to the ocean, the water's down at the bottom and then all the bubbly things are at the top. And then if it sits, it wouldn't be bubbly. But the ocean very often has bubbles at the top because it's constantly, constantly, constantly moving. So that is one of my favorite things and a fun little experiment. You can put it down, wait for the bubbles to go away and then do it again, all right? Last but not least, I think I've got time to show you this last one. Sometimes we wanna take a piece of the beach home with us, but it's just not something we can do because Maybe our parents say, we don't need any more shells. Or maybe we have shells at home and we wanna do something special with them. So I've never tried this before, but I've heard it. So we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna try and cast this shell. So casting means creating an image of, or um, a form of something, okay? So I'm gonna take some sand. I'm gonna take some glue. I hope this works. Please work. That looks good. We'll see what happens. And a little bit of water, because we want to water down the sand and the glue and kind of mix them together. And what I did not do, because I did not get myself something to mix these with, but that's okay. It's actually mixing fairly well without. Sure. Found a spoon. All right, a little bit more water in here. So I'm gonna mix these together. Ooh, a little sloshy. Now you're not gonna be able to see the end result today, unfortunately, because it has to dry. So I'm gonna take this mixture, this glue water sand mixture, and I'm gonna pour it into my shell. Now what I probably needed to do first was put some saran wrap in the shell, because now what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna cement the shell. But you're gonna wanna, uh, not fill it too much. I might have overfilled it. We're going to have a mess, but that's okay. 
So that's the inside of the shell. The other way you can do it, I'm gonna dump this back out, is you can create your sand mixture and then lay your shell down in your sand mixture and leave it there till it dries, okay? And then you should be able to pull your shell out and you're gonna have the imprint of the shell in the sand. That's a really fun thing to do. You could do that with rocks, you could do that with your handprints, your footprints, but whatever you do, have fun with it. So sand, water, those things mix together and that's how we might make a sand castle. Sand and water create sand, ooh, <laughs> that makes a sand castle. Once it's like that, it'll stick together. Need a little bit more sand. Sorry, I'm gonna get that wet but it'll stick together. See how it's sticking to my fingers? It'll make a sand that would stick together to make a sand castle. But when you add the glue, because once I put this back in the water, all that sand comes off. When you add the glue, it makes it stick together. That's not gonna be dry anytime soon, but I'm gonna see what happens at the end of it. These are some things that I enjoy about the ocean. But I have one more thing to share with you. You may not be able to make a sand castle at home like I'm trying to do here <laughs> and failing at. But we included this paper in your email and this, it's a sand castle. It doesn't look like it right now, but these black lines here are for you to cut on. If you don't have scissors that are safe for you to use at home, ask mom and dad to help you with that part, okay? And then see the numbers down here? You're gonna put them in order because the numbers don't go five, nine, seven, one, three, 10, two, eight, four, six. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, right? I think. So you're gonna put them in order by the numbers at the bottom. And you can either tape them together in order or you can leave them separate and use it as a puzzle. And then you're going to just color in your sand castle. There's seashells and sea stars. There's sand, there's little flags on top but you're gonna use your imagination and color in your sand castle. You can use colored pencils, crayons. I don't know if you really wanted to be crazy. You could try to like glue sand onto it, right? But have fun with it. So these are just some fun ways for you to enjoy the beach, the ocean, and all it has in store. But make sure you're smarter than Mrs. Johnson and you protect your skin from the sun by wearing a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen. Mrs. Johnson forgot the sun lotion the other day. And just be safe, have fun. Don't go in the water without the grownups. Don't do it, don't do it. Cause Mrs. Johnson will come find you, right? Be safe, have fun. And know that the best thing you can do at the beach is make memories with your mom and your dad and your aunts and your uncles and your grandmas and whoever you're at the beach with, okay? We hope you're having so much fun learning and getting outside and enjoying the gorgeous weather. You know what? We're gonna do that now too. You take care. Have a great day, boys and girls. Bye.